Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to deploy a React application to Netlify. If you don't know what Netlify is, Netlify is a hosting platform that allows you to host websites for free, and all you need is an account and something to deploy. And once you have those two things, all you need to do is drag and drop your project files, and your site will be deployed in seconds. So with that being said, let's begin. Okay, so first we need to sign up for a Netlify account in order to deploy our React app. And in order to do that, you need to go to netlify.com on your web browser. And once you're there, you'll see a page that looks similar to this. And what you're going to do is click sign up on the right over here. And once you're on this page, you're going to click on one of these four options to sign up for an account. And for the sake of this video, I'll be using my email. So I, I'm just going to click this email option over here. And next, I just need to enter in my email and password. So I'm gonna enter in my email and password. And if I press sign up, it's going to tell you to check your inbox in order to verify your account. So what you'll need to do is go to your inbox for the same email that you entered in to sign up, and you'll see an email from Netlify to verify your account. So I'm going to go to my inbox and verify my account. And once I've done that, I'll be right back. All right, so once you verify your email, you'll be redirected to a page that looks like this. And here, you'll just fill everything out in order to proceed. So for me, I filled out all these fields and what you fill out here won't change anything with deploying our app. So you may copy whatever I have and we can click set up and continue in order to proceed. And then you're gonna see this modal here and you can just X out of it. And now that we've signed up for Netlify, all we need to do is create a build folder for our React app in order to deploy it. Okay, so I have my React app opened up and this is just a basic React project. There's nothing really special about this. It's just the starter template that you get when you create a React app. And this is what I'm going to be deploying. So in order to uh, deploy this, we need to create a production build for this uh, React app. And in order to create a production build, we're going to need to basically compile all of the code inside of this app into one single HTML file. And to do that, you can just open up your terminal and then run npm run build. And if you give it a few seconds, it's going to create a build folder um, with all of your code compiled into one HTML file. Okay. So if you view this build folder, you can see that it's right here. So next, all you need to do is drag it and drop it into Netlify. So in order to do that, I'm going to open up my finder in this project in this project directory. If you're on Windows, you're just going to open up your file explorer to this project directory. So I'm going to open up my finder by doing open dot in my terminal. And once it's opened up, um, you're going to scroll down to where it says sites in Netlify on your dashboard whenever you log in. And you can just drag and drop this build folder into this little field right here and give it a few seconds and it's just going to deploy your site. So once it's deployed your site, it's going to redirect you to this page where you can basically update any of the site settings and view it as well. So to view the site, you can just click this link right here, this green link. And if you click on it, it's going to load up your site like this. And um, this is exactly what the code is for this um, page right here. So you can see that our site has been deployed. Now, if you look in the URL address bar, you can see that the domain name for this site is a little uh, funky. So if you want to change this, you can just go back to your site settings right here and then click on domain settings. Then you can scroll down to where it says custom domains. And then underneath this option, you're going to click on it and then you can edit the site name. So let's say that I want to change it to awesome site deployed or something like that. Then I can just remove this and then just add awesome site deployed and then hit save. And once I hit save, it's going to update the um, domain name. And if you want to add like a custom domain that ends in .com, .net, or .org, then you can um, basically learn about those in the documentation or click this right here, okay? But for this video, I'm just gonna show you how to do this. So if I go back to my site where it had this funky URL and hit reload, it's not going to work anymore. And if I click on this uh, new URL right here, it's going to load up the same site. Now, if you want to delete your site, you can just go back to your site settings. Um, and then uh, you can go to 
site settings like this, I think, if you go to site overview, and then go to site settings, and then if you scroll all the way down to where it says danger zone, you can click this uh, delete button, and then you can just copy and paste your site name into this field right here to delete your site. Now, if you want to update your site, you can just go to deploys, and then, you know, basically just open up your uh, build folder with the new updated code, and then you can just drag and drop that build folder into this um, field right here in order to update your site or create a new uh, deployed version of it. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this video helped you deploy your React app to Netlify. And if it did, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the description below or email me, and I'll try my best to reply to you. In addition, I would also like to say a big thank you for 500 subscribers, which is an amazing milestone. And yeah, guys, with that being said, that's it for this video. So have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next one.